showcasing Korean culture, including K-pop, food, beauty and fashion. A large scale K-Expo was recently hosted in Paris, France. It's the first expo of its kind to be held in Europe, reflecting the heightened status of K-content, with the venue crowded with people wishing to enjoy various aspects of Korean culture. Ian Jin has the details. Early in the morning, there was a long line of people waiting to enter the exhibition venue. As fans hear the familiar melody of the soundtrack from a Korean drama, a roar of cheers comes from all directions. This is the scene of the K-Expo, which took place recently in Paris. I came to the K-Expo to see the idol group Big Ocean. It was the first time I saw them in person, and it was nice to see a performance in sign language. This was the first Korean culture expo of its kind held in Europe, following its previous two editions in Vietnam in 2022 and in Thailand in 2023. It was even more significant and meaningful that it was held in the city of Paris, itself a cultural powerhouse, and the Palais Brongniart, a French cultural heritage site. Various exhibitions and interactive booths highlighted K-content like webtoons, drama, games and books, as well as Korean beauty, fashion, food and of course K-pop. There was even an event titled A Day in the Life of a Soul Light that attracted many visitors. Actually, everything that's about Korea and is happening in France, I will always try to visit the exhibitions. And today, specifically, it's a wonderful location. For me, most interesting is actually to see fashion. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of uh, Korean fashion yet. And I think especially Paris, one of the centers in the world of fashion, uh, that's a wonderful place for uh, also for Korea to be with Korean fashion. Booths that featured hands-on experiences of Korean culture, like tasting or making Korean food, were completely jam-packed. There were over 110 Korean content-related industry companies involved in business-to-business -business export consultations. Collaborated exports led by K-Content IP are highly scalable and have added value. This K-Expo in France reaffirmed the value fervor in Europe, and we hope that Korean content companies in various fields find new business opportunities in the European market. K-Content has jumped the wall of foreignness and is becoming something that people all around the world can enjoy and are becoming familiar with. On the back of such steadily rising popularity, it is expected that various related industry companies will find new export routes. Ian Jin, Arirang News.